Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the second episode of this Farmer's Training Series. I'm super excited to have you here once again. I'm your host, Mbazi Chibuzo, and uh, it's been a privilege. Like, the last session was really mind-blowing. We had Mr. Nathaniel Cookie talk to us about mushroom farming, and today is a different session altogether. So I'm going to urge you to share this link right now. As you're coming in, share the link right now to everybody you know so we have more people on this broadcast. We need to, you know, encourage others to join this family because it's a privilege to have these experts, teachers. Like, we, we, you just have to take this opportunity and zap all the ideas and the knowledge you can get from them. So uh, today we are going to be doing cucumber farming. And uh, I'm really excited to have um, a very special somebody in my life who has been a mentor and a, a guidance when it comes to agriculture um, practices. There's no other person than Mr. Uh, Olatunji Olakunde who is the CEO of All Art Farm. So he's going to be taking us on, on cucumber farming today. It's, it's a practical session. Like every other session, it's totally practical. So get your book, get your uh, pen, jot down things. And as the session is going on, make sure you are asking questions in the comments. Use the comment section, interact. Drop your comments. Is the, is the, if the um, training is going on really fine, leave a comment, encourage the um, speaker so it continues. And if you're just joining in, make sure you drop your country, where you're watching from, tell us your location, drop your name and your location so we can identify with you. Everything we projected live on the screen. So without further ado, let's get into the business of today where Mr. Olatunji will be taking us on chicken bar farming. Cheers, guys. Um, Olatunji, Ola popularly known as uh, Olat Farms. I'm a farmer. I'm into cucumber farming ugu, sweet corn, and then tomatoes. But today, we'll be discussing about cucumber, how to be a successful cucumber farmer. You know, I, I will tell you, cucumber is a wonderful vegetable. Uh, cucumber is a wonderful crop, a wonderful crop in nature. Because this is a crop that can give you whatever you invest in it back in the space of six weeks. I hope you hear me very well. Six weeks. For example, if you plant a cucumber seed today, be very assured that in the next six weeks, you are going to start your harvest. So whatever that you put into cucumber, you get it back in the space of six weeks. It's different from any other agricultural businesses that you have to wait for a longer period before you start to recoup back your profit. Cucumber is not like that. So that is the reason why I always said anybody that goes into agriculture or that has a big farmland, it is always good to have a cucumber farm by the side because that is what is going to help you to keep your farm going. It's going to help you with the expenses of the farm because in six weeks, whatever you put there, if done correctly, you are going to get it back. Now, let's go to the land preparation for cucumber. You can see this is one of our farms. We've not planted a cucumber, we just do some harvest here. You see, when you want to plant a cucumber, the very first thing you have to take into consideration is availability of water. It's very, very, very important because cucumber needs water. Cucumber demands a lot of water. And when you look at it, cucumber contains at least 95% of water. Even when you heat it, it contains 95% of water. So you need enough water for you to be able to plant cucumber. So, if you want to site your farmland, the very first thing you need to take into consideration is availability of water. Whether you are going to dog a bowl by yourself, or a well, or maybe you site your farmland by the stream side, so you will make use of the water available in the stream. And you have to consider, uh, when we are talking about uh, the, the soil that is suitable for for or cucumber can actually grow on any type of soil. Uh, it can actually grow on any type of soil, but it does better in a uh, sandy loamy soil. 
you understand that's why cucumber does very well so you have to consider that the kind of land you're going to use it's better you use a sandy loamy soil to grow your cucumber and then it must not be in a waterlogged area cucumber is very demanding when it comes to water you need water for your cucumber to do very well but again it doesn't mean you're going to go and plant it in a waterlogged area because if you plant your cucumber in a waterlogged area it's going to spoil most of your seed even if you plant your seed most of the seed will rot in inside it's not going to germinate properly and even if it germinates there is a tendency that all of them will die off because of the too much of water so you don't plant your cucumber in the waterlogged area at least it's sanding loamy soil that's the best uh, soil to plant your cucumber after you've cleared your land or, uh, i mean during uh, the weeding the clearing of the land uh, you're going to do your ridges and the cucumber ridges it's it's done most like it's best to do your cucumber in a in a straight ridges not eaves it's better you do it in a straight a straight ridges you can you can see let me to show them you can see these are the they, these are the kind of ridges that you're going to do for your cucumber you can see them you see it's a straight line uh, ridges a straight line ridges you understand so um after you've done your ridges the next thing you're going to do is you get a manual you need a manual for you at least a chicken a chicken deficit a chicken dons that's what you need it's the best uh, compost manual that you can use for your cucumber so that your cucumber will do very well if you're planting cucumber it's always good that you have a compost uh, manual that you're going to put into your uh, into the land you mix it with the land so that's the preparation as in that's the land preparation for cucumber and then if you want to treat the insect you know there are some insects that's always inside the soil you need a say you need an insecticide the rocket is okay lara force tree is okay you can use uh, rocket or lara force or punch so you're going to use the insecticide to spray all your land so whatever the insects that might be all your land so those uh, <coughs> insecticide will kill them off after you've been sure that you've used your insecticide and you can use your insecticide when you're using when you're practicing an irrigation system like this you are just going to fatigate it there is a way we do the fatigation you understand if you have this kind of you can see that this one is a we are practicing irrigation farming in a farm so it's always easy you just dilute your insecticide inside one bucket then you use your pumping machine to draw uh, insecticide into the into the soil of the farm so that is a uh, that's that about the land uh, preparation so i will i will show you the how the chicken man normally looks like the kind of a chicken man uh, we, we talked about the, the land preparation the weeding the ridges now i want to tell you how you're going to apply i want to show you how you're going to apply this uh, foul dunk into your ridges the application of a manual into your ridges now you can follow me now yeah we are practicing irrigation and system in a farm so this is, these are the ridges these are our drip tubes in a cucumber there is uh, the the spacing is very very important when you look at this uh these are drip tape you can show them the drip tape when you look at this drip tape you can see that it has already been spaced already that is like a one uh, meter you understand 0 0.3 mm you can see this is it this is it so this is the spacing you're going to do either you are planting or either you are using a irrigation system or you are using just a manual um, you are you are planting without a irrigation system now this is it you can see this is where you wanted to plant the dog then again we've already docked here then again the top tier you can see the space i leave between the space is not too much the space is not too much so now 
This is the file down. I'm going to put my file down here now. Can you see the quantity? Yeah, this is it. Put this one here. You can see here. Yeah, yeah. I put this one here. It's dried already. Then I put another one here. Let's see. So that's how you're going to apply your manual. And now, after the application of this manual, you are going to pour water in it to dissolve to dissolve the uh, manual very well into the soil. So after you have dissolved it, maybe in the morning time you put water so the thing is well dissolved. In the evening time, you cannot plant. So, the seed of cucumber, we have various types of seeds. We have both, we have the hybrid F1, we have the point set, we have the number the, the, the local one. But it's always best to plant with hybrid F1. Uh, the best seed to always use is the hybrid F1 because it's going to give you a high yield. The maximum yield. We have Tokyo, we have Murano, we um, we have Darina, we have Mona Lisa, a lot of hybrids F1. But uh, the best seed is always uh, is to use a Jurat. There's a seed that we call Jurat seed. Yeah, let me show you how Yeah. This is a Jurat seed. This is a sachet of a Jurat seed. It's the best seed to use in cucumber. Uh, you can't really see it around because it's always scarce. But it's the best seed. We, we have plants different types of seeds. And I can tell you categorically that Jurat is the best because it gives you maximum yield. And you can harvest Jurat a longer period of time. Now, let's, let's go back to. So, after you have already applied your manual, and then in the morning, I've told you you're going to put water uh, on the manual that you've applied, so to soften it, because you can't fly directly uh, with that uh, foul, foul width, you can't fly directly. It's going to kill your seed if you plant directly. So you, you need water to soften it very well. So if you want to now do your planting, Maybe you, you put manure in the morning. You can always plant in the evening time or the next day. So, so you're, you're going, going to put, put your seed. seed. You plant, plant your seed. seed. Yes, you plant your seed. seed. Yeah. You plant, you plant, you plant one. one. You plant, you plant one. one. It's always good to plant one seed. It's not always, always good to plant two seeds inside, inside the hole. Because if you plant more seed, seed, it makes it yield a good yield. When you plant two seeds in a hole, the two of them will be fighting for the nutrients. So one, one will kill one, 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 one will do well, well. and at times it might affect, might affect the production of the two. So it's, it's always to plant one seed per hole. One seed per hole. So you plant your seed. One, one, one. After that, you wait there. In, in three, three days' time, time your seed should start to germinate. In three days' time, the bomba start to germinate. So, so that, that is, is that about, about we've talked about, about the land preparation and we've already talked about the planting, the fertilizer application. Now we are going to talk about the uh, insecticide, the fungicide you are going to use, the spraying of cucumber, the routine you are going to follow to be spraying your cucumber. So I'm going to give you the kind of insecticide, the kind of fungicide. And, and how you're going to spray it, and then we're going to talk about the fertilizer application. Uh, we are inside the cucumber farm now. You know, this is just a cucumber of uh, two weeks, and you can see that they are doing very well. Now, we've already talked about the fertilizer application, uh, the manure application, the ridges, the spacing, and then I've showed you how you're going to apply your manure, and after that, you plant. Like I said earlier, you, when you plant a cucumber seed, it's supposed to germinate in the space of three days. You see your cucumber start to germinate. So after three days of germination, after three days of germination, that is when you're going to start 
spraying your cucumber. Don't wait for two weeks. Don't wait for a week. Prevention, they said, is always better than cure. Cucumber is very prone to disease. Very, very prone to disease. We have the mid view of this world, the downy of this world, and then we have some insects, some insects that do affect cucumber. We have the white flies, we have the amphids, a lot of them that affect them. And then we, we, we have the pests too that do attack uh, cucumber. So you need to start your spraying early. When you start spraying early, those are the things that will deter uh, fung fungi disease creeping into your into your farm or any insect affecting your farm. So we have organic insecticide. We have inorganic insecticide. Organic insecticide. We have neem oil. Neem oil is always the best. is is very very good. We can start with application of a neem oil. Uh, neem oil it has an odor that repel a lot of pests. It repels insects, and it's not harmful to your crop because it's organic. And then we have Larafos good. We have Larafos, and then uh, the fungicide. We have Cabridio, we have Ridomigold, we have z -Force, we have SAF. Those are very good fungicide. But I will tell you the application. Like I told you, your cucumber will start germinating in three days' time. Then after three days of germination, you start spraying your, uh, your farm. You start with neem oil. Then after the fifth, the, 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 the fourth day, the fourth day of germination, you can use Larafos gold, small quantity of Larafos gold. Let's say like uh, 30 mils of Larafos gold in 16 liters of napsa sprayer. And then your Ridomi gold. Ridomi gold is always in powdered form. It's not in liquid form. So the Ridomi gold, you have a at least, let's say just 10 mil. 10 mil of Ridomi gold, you put it inside a knapsack. Then you have 10 mil again of Z force. You put it inside the knapsack. You understand? And then then uh, if you have SAF, you can put 10 mils of SAF too. Those are fungicides. Lara force good is the best insecticide that I know for cucumber and then Lara Force. You can use the two of them together. So you mix it together in 16 liters of knapsack and you start spraying uh, at the fourth day of germination. The third day of germination, you, you will start with neem oil and then there is one thing that we call super grower and maxiforce. You see, super grow it enhances your crops, at least it makes them healthy, it maintains them to be very green. You can see how these plants are very green. You can show them, you can see they are very green. These are just two weeks cucumber and they are doing fine. You can see, you can see we are in the dry season. Uh, rain just fall once here in Ibada, where we are. So it's the help of the irrigation that we are using that makes the plant to look very good and very healthy and then the the kind of uh, the kind of care we are giving to them by spraying them regularly so let's go back to the spraying of the of the crops super grower is very good also we have and then maxi too is very good you have to get them maxi force maxi grew Maxi Grow is made by Jubilee. You can walk to any Jubilee, this, any Jubilee company and get your Maxi Grow. And then we have a Maxi Force. We have a Super Grower. You can start uh, with Super Grower and Neem Oil at the third day of germination. So the Super Grower can be mixed with Neem Oil at the third day of germination. Then you spray. The quantity of Super Grower you are going to add is 30 mils. 
into 16 liters of a knapsack. So you, you start spraying your your crop. So after the fourth the the, the fourth day, you use your fungicide and insecticide, which is a uh, Larafos gold, Cabidio Ridomi gold, whatever. And then I've told you the quantity you're going to use earlier, and you're going to be maintaining it every three three days. The neem oil and the super grower will be every four four days. Why the fungicide and the insecticide will be every three three days till you harvest. Every three three days, the insecticide, the fungicide will be every three three days till you harvest. Why the neem oil? Will be every four four days till you harvest. You mix neem oil and super grow and maxi force together, and it's going to be every four four days till you harvest. So that is that. Now, after two weeks, when your crop gets to two weeks, like this one now. They are ready to eat. We are going to start roping it by tomorrow. After two weeks of uh, you've planted your crop and they are ready to eat, there is something that will cause sticky. You can see this is a bamboo here. Let me show them. And then we have a binding wire. You can see you can see binding wire in the farm. And you can see bamboos in the farm. The reason why they are here is because we use them for sticky. So. You get a bamboo and you get your binding wire. So after that, you get your rope. Let me get one rope. I will show you how. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, can you just show? You can see. This is it. Oh, it's not here. Okay, I think this one has gone off. Sorry, the rope is not good. Let me get another rope. Okay. okay. So you're going to tie your rope to this uh, to this uh, binding wire. You can see to tie it to this uh, binding wire. So automatically your cucumber will crawl crawl to the cucumber. So it's important that you stick your uh, cucumber. The reason for sticking it is because it's not good for your cucumber to crawl on the ground to avoid different types of uh, disease to affect them and then uh, it makes your cucumber to do very well because when they are fruiting you can see your cucumber your cucumber will be fruiting on top not on the floor if your cucumber is on the ground it gets spoiled you understand it gets spoiled because they are on the ground so most of them got spoiled even before you start to harvest but when your cucumber is hot, you see they will be very healthy, very green. There won't be any kind of a yellowish. So it's always good to stick your cucumber and then it increases your heat. So that's the reason why you need to stick your cucumber. You can see what you need for sticking is this is a binding wire. The binding wire is very strong. That's the reason why you need a binding wire. Don't use a rope. Don't use all this rope. You use a good binding wire and then you get a good bamboo. 
you can see the way we connect our home and then you stick your cucumber after the sticking uh, you now start the application of the fertilizer you can always use organic fertilizer all right we've already talked about the staking and we've talked about the land preparation the ridges the spacing the type of seeds you're going to use and then the manual uh, application now let's talk about after two weeks of planting you are going to start sticking them and then you are going to start adding your fertilizer the best fertilizer to use to start up with is urea it's either you use it manually or you use a uh, fatigation you can see uh, we are practicing irrigation assistant here let me show them that's our reservoir you can see a reservoir you can see how these uh, pipes are being connected you too can have this type of farm if you desire to, we can help you to set up your farm. Let me come and show them. Let me show you something. What we use to cut You can see this is our reservoir. Uh, this is our fatigating bucket. You know, and this is a pumping. This is a pumping machine. And you can see this is our pumping machine. And then this is our fatigating hose. You know, you will put your if you want to fertigate fertilizer inside to our crops, you are going to soak your fertilizer here. Let's say, like I told you, you start with urea. You soak your urea inside here. The thing will dissolve. Then you use this. This is a fertigating hose. You dip it down inside the bucket. Then you start your pumping machine. Automatically, it's going to draw the fertilizer, and then you start releasing water. You understand? Your your uh, fertilizer started going through all these pipes that is laying down and then it goes to the root of your plant you understand it goes to the root of your plant automatically so it's always very easy to have this kind of uh farm irrigation system inside your farm one it, it reduces labor it, 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 it even reduces your home cost and then it makes your plant to get a maximum yield so if you cannot afford this like i told you you can always use hand like I told you, you can always use hand to put your fertilizer you start with urea urea is very good to start with at two weeks because it makes the your crops to come out very well you understand now look at this now let's say this is uh, you wanted to apply uh, urea right now this is the distance this is your crop you can see this is it yeah this is it you put your fertilizer here the urea you put your urea here then you cover it and then you put water you understand that is how to apply fertilizer so you start uh, with uh, urea after a week that means when your uh, plant when it reaches the stages of three weeks you now start applying mpk fertilizer we have different types of mpk fertilizer we have mpk 2010 10. we have mpk 2015 mpk 2020 20. but the best mpk to use for your cucumber is either you use MPK 2010 10 or MPK 15 15 15. That is after three weeks, when they are ready three weeks. The reason for this is to maintain, because as at that time they would have been fruiting. You will see the fruit, and then the flowers will have been coming out. So for you to maintain the fruit, so there will not be any abortion, there will not be any burn of fruit, so you won't lose most of your fruits you need mpk mpk will help you to maintain that and to stabilize your farm so you apply mpk 2010 10 or mpk 1515 after that as you will now continue applying that mpk every six six days 
when you start to uh, give them from three weeks, you will now start to give them MPK every six six days till you harvest. Do you hear me correctly? You start giving them MPK when they are three weeks old, and you will be giving them every six six days till you harvest. But if you are not practicing this kind of farming system, this irrigation farming system, it will not be easy because it's not easy to be putting to be using ma, uh, to be putting fertilizer manual manually to your crops. One, it's going to consume a lot of fertilizer, and then your plants will not even utilize it very well. But if you are practicing the irrigation system like this one, you know it will be very easy. You just dissolve your fertilizer inside that bucket, inside the bucket, then you use your pumping machine to pass it to all these uh, drip tips. You can see these drip tips, they have emitters. You can see, this is a whole emitters. So, as it's dropping, automatically, as it's dropping automatically, it goes inside the, it goes inside the soil. So, that is that, about the fertilizer application. We've talked about the fertilizer application. We've already talked about the staking. We've talked about the spraying of the chemicals, the insecticide, the fungicide, the pesticide. Now, let's go to the pesticide. You know, pests, the pests are attack uh, cucumbers a lot. We have the rodents, all these are rodents. They, are, they, they do attack uh, cucumbers. Now, for you to control them, there is this uh, rabbit urine. The smell of your rabbit urine is very strong. If you can get a rabbit urine, it's a very good uh, it's a very good pesticide and then again uh, it's a very good organic fertilizer also it do uh, it does two works inside your farm when you spray uh, rabbit urine in your farm when you're making use of rabbit urine in your farm it does two types of work it serves as a fertilizer and a pesticide, and a pesticide. because any crops that come any rodent rather that Come to heat your cucumber. As soon as they smell, as soon as they perceive the smell of the uh, rabbit urine, uh, they move away. The smells drives them away. And then it's another source of fertilizer to your crops. So, rabbit urine is the best uh, pesticide you can uh, get and it won't affect your plants you can get it from uh, those that are practicing uh, rabbit uh, farming it's being sold everywhere so and it's very very good we make use of it in our farm um, and we don't have any kind of uh, rodent affecting our farm we will discuss about the land preparation the planting the kind of fertilizer the types of fertilizer the types of seeds the spacing staking we've talked about the staking the importance of staking and if you plant a very good seed like the jora that we normally make use in our own farm you are supposed to start your harvest at least five weeks for this five weeks for this maximum five weeks five days you're supposed to start your harvest you will say wow yes that's how good that seed is you start your harvest by five weeks five days five weeks four days and you can see this place right now uh come let me show you uh let's just see um a two plot of land maybe you start with a two plot of land if you plant a jura seed and you follow all those routines that we've already told you. There is no way you're not going to get over 100 bags. Or at most, let's just say you are a starter. At least you're going to get, you are guaranteed to get 80 bags of cucumber. You will say, wow, yes, 80 bags of cucumber. That's what you're guaranteed to get on a two plot of land. And um, there is a market for cucumber all over other places. Right here in the bottom. We have a large market in Lagos. There's a large market. Just look at your neighborhood. You see a market for cucumber everywhere because everybody consumes cucumber. 
a lot of people comes with cucumber. Uh, people that know the that knows the head benefit of, of cucumber, they consume it. It's been used in salad. It's 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 been used in a, the different uh, delicacy. And then there is a cucumber juice also. So there is always sales for it. And the good things about cucumber is just that when you take it to the to your to the market, uh, you see they buy it immediately, and you collect your money immediately. You don't have to wait for them. You they buy it and then you collect your money. Uh, in the rainy season, a bag of cucumber can be sold for at least the the least you can sold your bag of cucumber is three thousand naira. Why in the dry season like we are right now, you can sell it to the tone of eight thousand naira. Presently, right now, it's being sold for six thousand naira. So just imagine, you now have a two plot of land that you now use to start your cucumber. That's you're talking of at least getting like hundred bucks. If you're selling right now, today you have you harvest a two plot of cucumber, and it's done the right way. You get that quantity of cucumber that I told you. You are sure that's like a six hundred thousand that you're getting from just a two plot of land. That's the reason why it's always good to, to do an educational system. That's the best you can do yeah, to make you to be successful in cucumber. Not, uh, you can't break through when you are using and to feed your cucumber water. No. And because cucumber has, it demands a lot of water. You're going to give cucumber water in the morning and then in the evening time, every day. So when you are using your hand to wet your cucumber, uh, but you know be firewood now. There is tendency that you yourself you are going to break down. But when you have this type of uh, irrigational system in your in your farm, you just start your pumping machine, and then it does the rest. It does the rest. It automatically draws water from your reservoir, and then via distributes it to all the plants inside the farm. The reason why you are using the pumping machine is that pumping machine can push water to any any length or any aspect of the farm. So that is it. So cucumber is a very wonderful crop, a very nice crop, and with the little that I've already told you, with the little insight I've given you about cucumber, you can be very sure that if you go into cucumber farming, um, I can tell you categorically that uh, you can never repeat it. Cucumber farm is worth it. I've been doing cucumber for the past four years, and I can tell you that cucumber is very, very sweet when it's done the right way. My name is Olakunle Olatuji, popularly known as Olat Farm. We have uh, different types of farms. This is one of our farms here at all different groups. Ibadan. You can always get us at uh, 070 or you can contact us via email all at farms at gmail.com all at farms at gmail.com then our facebook page too is all at farms you can go to our facebook page then you get us there so nice talking to you and i can hope that you can just start a cucumber farm of your own too so for consultation or anything any questions you can get to us through the number that i've dropped and through the emails that i've dropped Again, I repeat, the number is 070-6502-1189. And we have a lot of a train. We normally train people too. If you, you want us to train you, you can always come. We have a package that will train people for like a month. So when you contact us, we're going to give you the details. And then we we have a, a, a paid sessions of training too on WhatsApp that you can always, a, a paid class on and you can always uh, get us. I can tell you that we've tutored a lot of people on Cucumba Farm and they are doing very fine. And we are always happy when people are making it and they are doing fine. And, uh, Kukumba, especially when the economy is in a disarray like this. Cucumba can raise a lot of resources and Cucumba can give you the money that you want and can bring you out of poverty. You don't have to wait for long for you to start recouping whatever you put into your farm. Kukumba is a very wonderful plant. See? Wow, wow, wow. Thank you very much, Mr. Olatunde. Like, this is this is so massive. Like, four years in agriculture. How, how did you do that? How did you do that? Four years. This is so massive. If you enjoyed this session, please let us know in the comment section. Like, this is so mind-blowing. It has been so practical. 
uh, uh, Mr. Latunji just shared every secret he's using on his farm. That's a two plot of farm. You, you mentioned two plot of farm, right? Mr. Latunji? Uh, yes. Uh, well, wow. uh, the, the size of a farm is we have at least almost an hectare of farm. But the one Whoa. we make the practical, the one we make the practical is just the two plots that will do the practical. It's just a two plot of wow. uh, land. But we have up to wow. at least two hectares of cucumber farm. Oh so, my but because, God. yes, those, those ones are inside the main uh, farm. So because of the network, you know, there isn't network over there. So that's the reason why we, uh, we use uh, this place as a, a practical this thing so we could be able to uh, give connect. out the information in the proper way yes and then connect yeah. wow, wow so you just shared four years of experience with us how do you feel about it uh yes it's wonderful you know when uh, you impact knowledge into people and then mm -hmm. you when when you tell people uh how they can really survive in this uh, in this economy and you share your experience it's always good it makes you to feel good you understand so yeah. i really feel good yeah. sharing my experience with a lot of people and telling people about the secret of a cucumber farming a cucumber mm. farming is a yeah. very very cool agricultural business wow yeah. wow great yeah. so yeah. this one is very personal to ask you a very personal question it's a yes or okay. no answer all right because I want okay. to, uh, you want to be really convinced. So I was asking this question: Is there money in Kumba Farm? Yes or no? <laughs> yes, <laughs> there is. Oh. There is a lot of money in Kumba Farm. <laughs> oh my goodness! So you are seeing a millionaire yes. in front of us. It's like you need to jump on. Like, uh, you just to step from the, the planting to the uh, um, fertilizer, uh, fertilizing or fertilization. Everything is due to the air. Like, this is so massive, so mind blowing. So, from that, let's just start the business. But you can take questions, right? Uh, yes, of course. Sure, sure. All right. Let's go ahead and take questions. If you have questions, just leave a question in the comment section and I'll read it out so everyone can uh, read it. So, let's go with our first question. All right. So, uh, is Super Grow a fertilizer? You may mention sure Super Grow when you're, you know, talking about uh, some things, I, some chemicals. Yes, yes, yes. Super, super grow is a liquid fertilizer. It's, okay. it's actually a liquid fertilizer. It helps with the growth of, uh, it helps with the growth of the plant mm. and actually All make right. your, yes, and actually make your, uh, your cucumber fruit to be very, yeah. uh, it makes it to, be very okay and then LD, then in greenish in nature. You know, cucumber mm. is always green. You understand? Yes, sure. So if you mm. if you apply super grower to your cucumber, mm. it, it gives you the best. So super grower is a liquid fertilizer. Okay, okay, All right. Great. Yes. So that's a good yeah. answer from you too. So you give what, so you give what was the person that asked that question. So our next question is please, what's the size of your farm? Uh, well, you like, uh, say it again. Yes, we, uh, like I said, we have up to two hectares of a cucumber farm. Wow. We have up Did to two say? hectares of cucumber farm. Two hectares. Hectares, hectares of cucumber. A... Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. And a hectare is about yes, 15 plus, right? If I'm not mistaken. No, an, ec an, an hectare is like a two and a half acres. Okay. So, so we are talking of five acres. Wow. That's yes, sir. That's massive. That's massive. All right, let's go to the next question. Um, Gabe, Gabe Ice is asking beautiful webinar, but we need to know the best seeds to plant. So, what's the best seed to plant for cucumber? Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, uh, the best is for cucumber. I've already said it earlier in yeah. in the uh practical class session. The best seed for yes, mm -hmm. the best seed for cucumber is a jurat seed, as far as okay. I'm concerned. We yes. have been into cucumber now at least almost like uh, four years and yes. I've used different types of seed. I've used right. the seminis of this world. I've used Mona Lisa. Mm. I've used uh, Murano. But I can tell you that mm. Jorat is the best seed. It okay. gives you a, yes, it gives you a maximum yield. And then one thing about mm. Jorat seed 
that I've never found in any other CDs that Jura developed another branch, and each of those branch carries uh, a fruit. Why other oh. seed doesn't have that kind of a uh, uh, a thing? When you plant Jura, you, yes, yes, you you will see another you will see another branch, and those branches carries a fruit also. So Jura is mm. the best seed, as far as I'm concerned. Jurad, uh, so just to be sure, Jurad is spelled J O R A D, right? Yes, J O R A D, Jurad right. seed. You see, so yes, J O R A D. Yeah, I believe God, God uh, got that answer. So uh, our next question is uh, from Matthew Raphael. Matthew Raphael said, please state the quantity of neem per 16 liter of water again. I didn't get that. You made mention of neem. Nim, nim oil, yes, right? yes, nim oil. When you when we say nim oil, I don't know. Nim is a uh, dogoyaro. Everybody is very familiar with dogoyaro. Yes, so, nim leaf. Yes, I, I heard uh, Yes, so another name for nim uh, is a uh, dogoyaro. So the oil okay. extract from the seed of mm -hmm. dogoyaro is what we call nim yeah. oil. You understand? Wow. So that yeah. uh, that uh, if you want to apply it to your farm, you need just thirty mils. 30 mils is okay. Wow. 30 mils into 16 30. liters of a uh, knapsack. Yes, 30 mils is okay into 16 liters of a uh, of a knapsack. Of knapsack. All right. So just to yes. uh, uh, an additional question to that question, like if somebody wants to get the oil, do I have to go and process it by myself from scratch, or is it available in the market? Nemo yeah, oil. oil is available in the market, and then All right. we can as well help you to get it. We we do produce neem oil also, so oh, we can also yes, 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 you can get it from us also. All, all right. So let me go to the next question. Uh, next question is from Gabe again. Gabe, Gabe is asking another question. Thank you for the. Okay. Um. Okay. This of Webu Ben. Of Webu Ben is asking, how much does it cost to start keeping back? How much does it cost? Like. Uh. Well, to Some it depends on the. Yeah, it depends on the capacity of what you wanted to do. Okay. But, and then it depends on whether you, you want to do a, a, you want to practice irrigational farming system. I mean, or, right. or, or maybe you just want to plant it directly without uh, irrigation. So it depends. If you want to pr practice irrigational farming system, mm -hmm. uh, if you are going to do an acre of a cucumber, let me okay. just start with an acre. I will break it down. Let's say an acre, right. and then you want to irrigate all your farm with the ball. O, I'm talking with the ball. O, uh, okay. You can't spend, let's just say, with the ball, o and then the irrigation system for all of your one acre farm. Let's say you're going to spend like okay. uh, 1.6 1. Uh, million. 1.6 million is okay for wow. one acre. For one, one acre, acre of cucumber, plant. yes. So one acre, for one acre. Plant, so that our audience will just be aware. Yeah, uh, one acre is like a, a standard. One acre is like a eight plot. Okay, great. Yes, a standard so, acre is like a eight plot. And they so, will start dividing that down. Uh, yes, it's the cost of the the area for is the cost for the drip tips and then uh, okay. yes, and the pipes, your your reservoir. Those are the things that really takes mm -hmm. the money. But you know, when oh, whenever you you are doing it once, you understand. Okay. You don't need to repeat it again. It's just the startup capital. Mm -hmm. So far, you've done. You, uh, you've put your drip tapes, the pipe. You've laid the pipes and all, all these things. You can use them for like five years. Nothing will happen to them. Wow. Uh, so it's wow. just the startup capital that it's kind of uh, expensive. But if you are not pra practicing irrigation system, you want to wait for the rain. Uh, yeah. To to start a cucumber farming of just let's just say an acre you can't spend uh let's just say like a uh, three three hundred three hundred fifty thousand naira. you can get it done wow all right yes so my next but question it's always good. With what? okay it's so always it's always good to practice irrigation farm is the best all right so with irrigation farm like if i'm doing irrigation farm on a one plot of land that is um, you estimated three hundred thousand, right? So NMPS yes. is asking, please, how much, how, how much percent, how many percent profit can I make if I start the cucumber farm? So let's use that 
Okay, let's say you start with a, a one acre of land. You okay. understand? Yes. Uh, you use a one acre of land and then with irrigation. I've told you like a 1.6 million naira. Well, in a one acre of land, yes. you can always get uh -huh. at least, yes, at, at worst, if you're cucumber, 50 bags of cucumber. And then during the wow. uh, dry season, during the dry season, you can always sell your cucumber to the tone of 8,000 naira. Why in the rainy season? You can sell your cucumber at the rate of 3,000 naira. So let's just do the calculation. You understand? So if you are selling for maybe 5,000 yes. naira or 6,000 naira, you just do the calculation. 350 times 5,000. It depends. Uh, yes. But in the rainy season, mm. you can just sell for 3,000 naira per bag. Because a lot of people plant cucumbers in the rainy season. So automatically, mm. the price comes down. But it can actually come down to 3,000 naira. That's the least you can sell your cucumber bag. You understand? Wow. But, so if you if you are now having 350 bags every week, you understand? Every six weeks yeah. of planting, because cucumber is six weeks. So okay. So if you are having 350, that's 350 times uh, 3,000 naira in the yes in the raining season. You understand? That's okay. 350 times uh, 3,000 naira. You can see that it's a hell of money. That's close to a million naira. Hmm. Yes, you understand, absolutely. and then we, you can farm cucumber at least, let's say, five times in a year. Wow. So that's what. Wow. So that's what we've been making because it's every six, wow. six weeks. Let's say, okay, fine, you you plant your cucumber now. You start harvesting in the next six weeks. So after after that, let's say you harvest for for like two weeks. So you are using two two months for one cucumber. So you use another week to prepare the land again and then start up again. So at worst you will have five planting in a year. Massive, massive. So and, right, so, uh, and so you get your money often and often. Steady, it's a steady income, and then it helps you to stabilize your wow. your, your wow. farm mm, because it's just a six weeks uh, oh. vegetable. So you plant it now. You're vegetable. harvesting the next six weeks. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I just want to ask a question for the sake of those who don't have that large amount to you know irrigate their farm. Uh, okay. If, uh, you just want to do uh, the uh, chicken bar farming in the rainy season. You time everything okay. like where, where, like how much do you think someone can spend without irrigation? Uh, well, yes, that's what I say. Without a uh, without a uh, irrigation, at least you can yes. start your cucumber farming, which like a uh, three hundred to three fifty on an acre, oh. one acre of land. Okay, one acre. Okay, the same acre yes. of land that takes one point six million. With irrigation, yes. right? With irrigation, oh, yes. Perfect. So anybody that wants something smaller, you can start doing the calculation and bringing it down to a plot or half plot and all of that. So, hey, hey, that you understand. Uh, thank you very much. So, what is actually doing? So, you know, is actually, where should we start applying the fertilizer to the plants? That's after two weeks of planting. After two weeks of planting. All right. So that's yes, the after two weeks. Uh, yes, it's, uh, it's after two weeks that your uh, your crops start to germinate. You understand? So that after wow. two weeks of germination, so that's where you start applying urea. Okay. So if we have yeah. any more questions, we can do this. So Sorochi Eunice is also asking a question. She said, um, "Is cucumber farming seasonal? How do you cope when it is not in season? In season? No, cucumber farming is not seasonal." That's it. If you have water and you have irrigation system in your plant, system. you can plant anytime. Oh. You understand? So that's the reason why yeah. uh, practicing irrigation is very good. Like our in our own farm, we, we farm around the year. We don't oh. stop. We don't and we don't have to wait for the rain because there is an availability right. of water already. You understand? Okay. And then yeah. we have we have a irrigation a system in our farm. So we, we plant throughout the year. So cucumber farm is not a okay. is not seasonal. So if you have irrigation system inside your farm, uh, you can, right, you can plant at any time. That's nice. So during the class, uh, you made mention of, uh, you said something about training. Like you train people. Can you uh, you know throw more light on that? Like explain more about the training. What's the training process like? 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we do train people at our farms. You understand? We have uh, we train people for like a month, and then the package is uh, fifty thousand naira for a month. Wow. So that's what we uh, yes, that's all we two people. And so then we month. have a yes, that's a that's a, a practical training on the farm. Then we have an online training also. Yes. Then we have an, an online training also. The online training is just a uh, twenty thousand naira. Oh. Great, yes. great. So, um, this training for one month, who, who is going to put the accommodation bill? Is it life training? If it's like, are you going to provide housing for entire one month for that same price? Or the other? No, guys, we have an accommodation inside the farm. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, we've we've trained a lot of people. A lot of people have come here, and then we've trained them. They've started. Uh, they've started their own uh, kukumban farm, and they are doing very fine. You understand? So we have an accommodation mm -hmm. that uh, you can always have inside the farm. So there is already accommodation inside our farm. So all of our farm wow. has a farm house. We all of our farm we have a farm house there. Great, great. Yes. So um, you, you just mentioned that um, the life training for one month is fifty thousand. But for the sake of this program, uh, I'm just asking for the sake of my people: uh, Is there any discount? Is there any discount that you can offer us? So a lot of people need to start making this money. Like you said, yes, there's money to come up and so many people are already interested. I see a lot of people online doing comments, asking questions. So what can you do? You know, farmer to farmer, I want to help you as a brother. Here's a discount. Come and join my class. Just mention 50,000. Is there something you can do for, for uh, Yes, yes. Uh, for the sake of this uh, uh, program, uh, yes, okay. for the sake of this really then, we can give a discount of uh, ten thousand naira, so it will go for forty thousand naira for wow. those that sign up immediately. Okay, uh, massive, massive. Like, yes, I'm for so those that sign up immediately, then we can give a a discount of ten thousand naira. So that's forty thousand naira. Yeah. Wow, this is great. Thank you so much for that yes, discount. Uh, and You're even welcome. while we are discussing more questions, we are coming in. So we are going to, going to be taking uh, them. But for those of you who are interested. Uh, Mr. Latunji just knocked down the price from 50,000 naira to 40,000 naira for the training. It's a one month intensive session. You can imagine how this online program is so detailed. Then just imagine one month of you having contact access with it. It's going to be mind blowing. I want in our next season of this program, most of you who are watching live will be the one taking a session or another. So I really need you to you know, jump on this program right now. I think the, the details are on your screen. So you can Alat Farms, the email is alatfarm at gmail, right? You want to put that phone number by yourself so that the people can, you know, sign up. Uh, yes, uh, and remember yeah, the, the audience, so you have to add the plus two, three, four, the top of the number. Uh, yes, uh, um, contact number is uh, plus two, three, four, seven, right. zero, six, five, zero, two, one, one, eight, nine. Plus two three four seven zero six five zero two one one eight nine. You can All chat right. us up or you can call us. You get us on WhatsApp right. and then. So this number is on WhatsApp. You can chat with him, you know, mm. uh, to learn more about the training and then join. Get look. We need to start making this cucumber money. This is green money. No more oil money. What is green money? So we just take another question be... before. We... <laughs> okay. Yes. If there is any question, just leave your question in the comment section. I will drop your question. If you are not subscribed to this channel yet, click the red subscribe button immediately. If, if your button is showing red, click on it right now so that you don't miss any other session of this um, training. So I don't know if there is any other question. If there is another question, we'll take it live or we'll call it a wrap. So I, I I think I saw one question when we are discussing. They are talking about uh, how do we combat uh, security? You says, yeah. How do you combat security in your farm? I yes, I, I yes, I, I I saw your questions. Well, you know, uh, the security it's it's uh, something that is uh, very very sensitive, even in Nigeria right now. Uh, you understand. Mm. But you, but you can always at least combat security in your farm. One, yeah. 
it's uh, uh, the main security, uh, the main security threat that Kukumba has are these uh, edders. Oh. You understand? Uh, are these uh, edders because uh, most of people they they don't take Kukumba to be fascinating like that because it's not something that is uh, you understand. So we don't really yeah. have. Uh, people coming into the farm and stealing cucumber. But uh, we do have problem with these edders. But there is one thing we, we normally do. It's planting. There is something mm. that we call castor, castor seed. Castor seed. Yeah, castor seed. Yeah. Yes. yeah, castor seed. We plant castor seed. You can plant, you can use castor seed as a perimeter fencing. You understand? Throughout oh. your farm. Yeah. Where you, uh, castor seed, it has a kind of a poisonous uh, stuff. That deter the way any kind of a uh, any kind of a uh, cow animals you understand. So yes. when you plant it around your crop or around your farm, even the cow will saw itself when they see it, as in they go away. When they even saw it, they won't move near your farm mm -hmm. because when they perceive the smell, you understand. They so they are not going. To, yes, they they run. So you can use that as a perimeter fencing. Even not only in cucumber, any of your farmland. Yes. When you plant a castor, oh. castor seed, you castor understand? Seed. It's always, yes, it's wow. always good. It, it drives away all these uh, animals because it's poisonous to them. You understand? Yeah. So that's the only thing. Really? So, and really? then that, that castor seed too has yeah. uh, a commercial value. You, you understand? Oh. You can always, yes, it has a commercial value. You can always extract exactly. the, the oil, the oil from the castor. The there oil. is a castor oil. You understand castor that? Oil, yeah. uh, yes, there's a castor oil. Yeah, so you can not. always sell the seed. You can always sell the seed to most of all these companies that do collect them. You understand? So it's a win-win. So, uh, so it's a win-win situation. You understand? So yeah. that's 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 the way you can combat all these uh, edders, uh, insecurity stuff. From our petting. Okay. Yeah, uh, yes. yes. We're yes. talking about Kikumba here, yeah, and now we are having a new idea that can help any type of farmer whatsoever you are planting. So, uh, Tony Gewa is asking the question again, are we going to apply the super grow from beginning to the end of the planting, like this uh, entire six weeks period? Yes. Uh, you start applying your super grower at uh, three days of germination. That's at three mm. days of germination. You you mix it with uh, neem oil. It goes it goes with neem oil. You understand? You can mix the two together, and you apply in them uh, okay. uh, in a knapsack. You understand? And then you apply them. Uh, that's like uh, every every four four days. You understand? Wow. That's yes. till you are going to harvest. That's how you are going oh. to be. Yes. Great. So, okay. Great. Great. Uh, and then one more thing. Neem yeah. oil is very, very, very. It's it's very, very good, especially for white flies. You understand? Mm. White flies that yes, normally yes. affect cucumber. You know, we, we have cucumber. these uh, white flies and then amphid. When when you want to treat a white flies in your farm, you can always use yes. neem oil mixed with a black soap. All black these uh, black soap. Yes. yes. Yes, okay. you mix the neem oil with a black soap, then you can use it if you have any kind of uh, white flies in your farm. So when you mm -hmm. use that neem oil, it, it helps to push them away. You understand? Yeah. Great, yeah. great. Right. Like fantastic answers you've been giving us there. So we have um, uh, Tony, uh, Tony Giwa is already very, very happy. Thank you so much. This mm -hmm. is great. So we have another question from Christy. Christy Films. Christy Films is asking, you know, you gave a discount to those who are, are going to attend the program live. How about those who are attending online? Is there any discount for them? Like, people are so interested in joining this business. So, is there any discount oh, for them as well? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, we are going to give them. Let's just say, let's give them a 5,000 air discount. That's 15,000 oh, air. Uh, yes. So, those, those that are so signing, are yes. So we have 40,000 they have to attend the live training for entire one month. Your housing, your accommodation, everything is provided. And you have 15,000 to join the online class from anywhere you are. Whether in Nigeria or outside Nigeria, you can join the online class. This is something you can do anywhere and everywhere. Kumba is a crop that people eat all over the world. It's not, you know, specific to a certain uh, continent or other. So we want to really thank you, uh, Mr. Latinji. 
uh, for joining this live session. Thank you for your thank you for this practical session. This welcome. We know we have other pharmacies in Sosi Delo. We have so um, really appreciate your time. You can see that you are currently in your farm. This is massive work. This is massive work you are doing. Thank you for taking out your precious time to talk to us, to teach us how to make money because this is literally how to make money. Everybody, agriculture is not even the new way. It has always been the money. Of course. It's just that we were, you know, distracted and went into the oil industry. Now, no. the <laughs> Uh, so, uh, everybody, uh, yeah, people, are, people are moving away from oil now. So the next, yes. the next big thing now is agriculture. So That's I will true. encourage everybody to go into agriculture. You know, it's it's it might be very difficult in the start. You understand, but yes. there is no business that is not difficult. You are going to face this at least a, a, a different challenges. But but you right. know, if 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 you don't start, you can't know how far you can go. You understand. So it's That's it's true. always good to start first. And then from mm -hmm. there, you can see that that's when you know how far you can go. And then Rome was not built in a day. Something At good all. is never achieved in a day. You understand? Never, so never, you never. just, <laughs> yes, you just have to start from somewhere. And then I can tell you, when you go into cucumber farming, uh, you can never regret it. You understand? Cucumber farming, yes. it's what can help to take people out of uh, poverty. And then yeah. uh, you'll be very glad you, you, you delve into the you cucumber did. farming. Yes, because it's just a few people that are still in, into cucumber farming. Uh, you understand? Mm. So when you go into it, yeah. you can you will see. And then you two, you attest to it at the end of the day. You're going to testify how good cucumber farming is. Yeah. Yes, this comment you just made, just draw my attention to something. Um, about the market, we didn't say anything about the market. How good is the market? Okay, if I start oh. my cucumber farm today, how am I going to sell? Like, you know, I'm just new, I don't have you know buyers, off takers, and all of that. So, uh, is there any like a ready market that one can sell to? Yes, there is, there is already made market in every neighborhood. Oh. There is already mm -hmm. made market in every, every neighborhood. The thing is, just wherever you're staying. Just look yeah. for a cucumber uh, market. All these are fruit markets. When you go there, you see a yes. All these fruit markets, you see a cucumber market. And one thing about cucumber is, when when you harvest your cucumber and your your fruits are very healthy, you you know, yeah. uh, uh, when you take it to the market, people rush and buy in your market, I especially agree. when it's very very healthy. And they give you money at once. You don't need to come back before uh, you collect your money. It's an instant cash. So hmm. I'm telling you, we normally have a stop to like uh, 300 bags at a go, 400 bags at a go in a farm. And wow. when we take it, there is already an off taker that will take it. And then they pay wow. money instantly. So well, don't, don't worry about the market. You understand? As if you are going yes. into cucumber farming and then we tutored you, we are even going to give you an off ticker. You understand? Oh. You you get an off ticker that will be taking your cucumber. You understand? Because there is a lot of off ticker. We as a yes. as a farm, uh, we cannot satisfy their needs. So we still need more people to come into cucumber farming. Uh, you understand? So there is already uh, an off ticker that will market. take your product. Yes, already mid market. There yeah, is. Wow, this is massive. Like all our speakers so far are really, really wonderful people. They're always telling us there is pretty market, there is comfortable. We can give yes. you can make, like this, just making this for anyone that wants to start. Even the market is taking care of for you, just you know, they'll provide the market for you. So you don't have to struggle. One more thing before we go, how long do you stay on the ground before you sell? Like, do I have best keep for a while before selling, or that's something that I'm investing that's the same thing I'm selling? Or how long does it last? Like, no, uh, no, uh, if it, it depends on the see at, at times, cucumber it depends on uh, the size of your farm. For example, if you're harvesting okay. like an acre of farm, you can use the whole yes. day to harvest, you can use Definitely. the whole day to harvest, you understand, and then okay. take it to the market the next day. 
But if you are harvesting right. like a two plot, three plots, you can harvest within, okay. let me say, five right. hours. You understand? Yes. And then you take it to the market. You don't have to wait till All the right. next day. You understand? Okay. So you take it to the market. You don't preserve cucumber. It's like a, mm. or every fruit. You understand? Or every fruit. Yes. It's a perishable. Yes. So you don't have to keep yeah. them. As soon as you're That's harvesting, there you take it to the market. So, but I can oh. tell you and I can assure you, there is an off ticker that will take your cucumber. There mm. is an enough right. market. Mm. Great, great. Like this is wonderful. We've had this one hour and 11 minutes so far, and it's been wonderful. Back to back excitement. Wow. So, if you have yeah. any last word, maybe any last word, in the aspect, absence of any other question, maybe we'll just have your last word and then call it a day. So, any last word for those who are tending to join the Kuba family business and others are there? Well, all, all I can tell you is just that. Uh, like I always tell people, well, whatever yeah. you're doing, you just have to put your mm -hmm. maximum effort. You understand? And when you look at cucumber, right. something you are going, to, something you are going to plant, and you start harvesting the next six weeks. So definitely, mm -hmm. you are going to put an intensive six weeks effort. You understand? Mm -hmm. All the spraying, yes, all the spraying, the application of the fertilizer, uh, the roping, the sticking. You understand? It's very intensive, but it's always worth it. You understand? At the mm -hmm. end of the day, you are just going to laugh last. Because when you start, yeah. when you put your seed into the into the uh, soil, and Sorry, yeah. after six weeks, you now see what you put into the soil, fruiting, and you're yeah. harvesting. Yeah, it's no, it gives mm -hmm. you a lot of joy. You understand? Even yeah. you doing it, it gives you a lot of joy. Okay, hey, so I'm the one that did this. I'm the one that plants yeah, so this. Is, yes, you understand? So don't worry, and don't even fear. You understand? We will be there yeah. to at least tutor you, guide you. Even we can even visit your farm. You understand? Uh, yes. To help you set it up, all those stuff. We we do. A, we've done a lot of people for people that they cannot test, and they're doing fine. So I will just tell you, don't worry. Just uh, be rest assured that everything will go well at the end of the day. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very very much, Mr. Latuki. Thank you for joining this sure. session. So I'm uh, going to be closing right now. Uh, thanks to everyone who have joined this session. Thank you so much for your time for staying from the beginning to the end. Like it's been a wonderful session. Um, Mr. Latuki has really given us so much. Now it's left for you to make the decision. They are giving two classes: online class and an offline class. The online class will be starting from fifty thousand naira to fifteen thousand naira only. And online class. 50,000 Naira, but because of this meeting, he has cut it down to 40,000 Naira, and you stay one whole month accommodation provided for you, just learning Kikumba farming. It's really, really massive. It's something I encourage you to jump on immediately. So I want to thank every one of you who has joined this meeting from everywhere, all over the world, where you have joined from. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you, and uh, this series is, we still have our four sessions left in this series. I want you to keep coming back and watching every series because no idea, no wisdom, no knowledge is a waste. After all, it's free. So make sure you invite your friends, share this broadcast, share the replay with everyone you know so that they can also seize this opportunity. Call the number on the screen. Any more knowledge about Kikumba Fab, you will be guided accurately. So without any other thing, I would like to say good night, Africa. Take care of yourself. And please, let's. Because the goal is to eliminate hunger in Africa and to yeah. show the zero hunger. The United Nations are pushing daily. They, they really want to achieve this. So we have to play our part. We have to play our part. You, myself, everybody, we have to engage into the agricultural system so we can feed the world and eliminate hunger in Africa and every other place around the world. So that's goodbye for me. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Please do that. And it's of advantage to you because are not here. So make sure you are here till the end of the Bye. Bye.